Most people like to sit in the back. I'm not most people. Where to then? Charles Street. Right, uh, actually it's uh, no smoking. What the hell, eh? So which end of Charles Street? Top end. I'm off for a job. How interesting. Riveting. You get to serve chips if you've got a degree. Have you got a degree? <laughs> Only from the University of Arden, Oxlow. Right. Uh, Red One, uh, just picked up the fare and I'm going to Charles Street. Oh, Roger, but, uh, where are you now, Vic? Top of Birkham Road, corner of Lonsdale Gardens. Jesus. Uh, top of Birkham Road, corner of Lonsdale Gardens, over. Yeah, right. Hang on a minute, Vic. I've got another fare for you. Come again, Steve. Another fare. And Mr. Fredericks wants picking up at 16 Peter Place and taken to Mansell Avenue. Did you say Peter Place? Near the co-op on Vickers Drive. If we go past it, I'll show you. All oh, right, Tar. Uh, red One. Go ahead, Red One. Uh, did you say Mansell Avenue? Right. You couldn't give us a fix on Mansell Avenue, could you? Gordon Bennett, what sort of a taxi firm is this? Oh, it's a big town. I can't know all the roads. After you drop me off, take a second right off Charles Street up Portland Road. Third left onto the freeway, first left into Western Way. Third set of lights, turn right, you're in Mansell Avenue. How do you know that? Spent four years on the switch for Alpha Cabs. Yeah. Till I went bust. And uh, this job you're going for today? Uh, being sent to. No choice in the matter. Really? It was either that or they stopped me benefit. Gotcha. Don't get me wrong, I'm not scared of hard work. So, uh, you wouldn't mind a job? Wouldn't mind a decent one. Might just be your lucky day. Red one, this is base. Come in, over. Red one, this is base. Vic, where are you, mate? Right behind you, sunshine. What are you doing here? The phones have been ringing all day. I've only got you and Rich out on the road. And who's this? This is Eileen. Eileen Grimshaw. I'd want a better chair. Of course. And you have got a decent kettle. Oh, no problem. Uh, the... Who is this? I'm the best offer you've had all day, love. Trust me, Steve, she's a genius. She's the answer to our prayers. Leave that. Three cars. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mr. Johnson, 49, Yeovil Street. Be with you in five minutes. Who's checking it? What's going on here? Streetcars. Yes, madam. Hospital. OK, and your address? 67 Compton Street. You have got two cars, I take it. Ooh, we've got three. Rich is the other driver. Be with you in five minutes, Mrs. Stevenson. Right, Yeovil Street. Into town, left onto Archer Street, second right past the museum, up onto the flyover, third exit onto the roundabout, first left, Yeovil Street's on the right. Compton Street, down the high street, second right, third on the left. Told you. Genius. Well, don't just stand there. Promised those cabs five minutes ago. Got our reputation to keep up. Where are you going? Home. Are you finished, have you? Unless I'm told differently. Well, we'll see you tomorrow then, or what? Offering me a job? Well, it depends if you're interested. No, love. It depends on whether you pay me what I want. And how much is this going to cost, then? Six fifty an hour. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Ah, right, then. Hey, come on. Hold on a second, Eileen. Just a second. Come on, Steve. We can't afford to lose her. She's been here one day and she's sorted us out. And she knows every street in Weatherfield. All right, then, 4 50. Knock it up a quid and we might be talking. <laughs> Sorry, no. Um... All right, then, 5 50. Right, see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock sharp. And uh, don't forget, I need a new chair. <laughs>